Right, today we're going to be making the uh, slide blocks. There's two of these. Um, it's this one. Two of those. And we're going to be using a little piece of uh, mild steel. And also for the uh, little cotter pin we're going to be using, using some uh, 1 8 um, drill rod. So um, let's get on with it. We'll be on the uh, on the mill and on the lathe today. Now these holes, just while we're on it, sorry, these holes are shown square on the drawing, but I'm, I'm not going to do them square. I don't really know why they have to be uh, square. I suppose it's true to the original casting. Um, they would have been square, but I don't think they serve any purpose being square. So I'm just going to drill those out as rounds. Otherwise, I've got to make up. Um, something to uh, a tool to square them off and uh, it's not really worth it just for for what they are it's only cosmetic unless um, somebody knows different and uh, they do actually serve a purpose then uh, let me know so let's get on with it over to the mill first first thing I've got to do is mill up a reference face so I'll set it down on the uh, mill scale side and um, we'll just face this off and then uh, we'll have something uh, at least one reference side to shape up the part Right, now I've got a, a reference face. Right, now I've got a reference face, so I can um, set that up against the uh, the back of the vise and uh, mill off the top piece. And mill off the top, and then we can work on getting. Um, it all parallel and, and um, shaped up square not square as in shape but as in square Right, we've now got um, two machine sides, so we can now uh, set it out for the shape. Yeah, we're still well within. Great, that done.
that's our 8mm dimension this way now. So now we've got to set it up for seven. We've got to set it up for seven millimeters in the other direction. So the actual shape initially will be eight millimeters by seven millimeters, and then we'll uh, rebate out the uh, relief. Right, we've now got our uh, part to full dimension. It's uh, seven millimeters by eight millimeters. So we can now start to uh, shape it up. But what I want to do first is just mill off the ends, square up the ends, and then I'll work in from either end because it's actually bigger than it needs to be. And then I'll cut it off with a bandsaw, and then come back in and mill it down to size. I can now get that set up. I can uh, set my digital. I get that. That's the, uh, the part down to size now. So now we can uh, just get the little rebates cut in either side. Drill the holes and uh, clean it up. We'll be done just like that. Right, I've got the uh, the DRO set up. I've got my height set. Get that back up to zero. Got to go down 0.8. So we'll go 0.4 to start with. 0.4, and then we've got to come this way. Six millimeters. Right, we're locked off at six millimeters, point four in depth. Let's go. Right, let's take off another point four, and we'll be down to point eight. Point eight, lock it off. There we go, that's our little rebate. Right, so we're we're down. 0.8 millimeters and we got one millimeter left in forming a little uh, rebate uh, t-shape just flip it over and I'll do the other side right just deburred that so what I'll have to do now is reset the height because we're down by 0.8 millimeters 
So I can either reset the height or yeah. Or I can add on the 0.8 and go to the 1.6. Yeah, there's no reason why I can't do that. T-shape. So now I've just got to put the holes in and cut it off. Now I'm just going to cut it off to near enough length in the uh, bandsaw and uh, then I'll just mill it to the correct length. Just uh, deburr these first. Right, just going to mill the ends off down to size. That's that one done. Right, I'll turn it down to ninety seven, and it is one two five. And let's just face it off first, set the DRO.
finished parts. Right, I'll just show you roughly where it goes on the model. There you, here's the uh, the steam uh, chest. Well, the steam chest is on the other side. That's the piston chamber, and then you've got the um, con rod, the piston rod there, and the con rod here, which goes to the um, camshaft, and they connect on that little pin in there, which then slides up and down as the cam goes round obviously it's not not working very well at the moment because it's uh it's all loose nothing's fixed in position but that's that's the general idea that it goes up and down there one rod connects to another rod which connects to the piston and the whole thing goes backwards and forwards <laughs> 